Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is going to be about how to tell if someone is following you. There are great ways to tell if someone's following you. One great way is to take multiple turns. If you take one turn and they're, and they're following you, it's probably a coincidence. Two turns, it's starting to become um, more likely that they're following you. Three or four different turns and they're still following you, that, that possibly means uh, that they're after something of you. They, they want to know where you live, they want to um, jack you, they're, they're following you for a certain reason. Great advice is never go back to your home because then they're going to know where you live. You don't want this person who's following you to know where you live. Go somewhere different. Find a, find a safe place. Find a place where there's a lot of stores where you could easily go into a store and blend in. You always want to blend into your environment. And uh, you want to be able to see in front of you. You want to be able to see behind you, beside you, inside you. You want to be able to see from all different angles. You want to be able to see reflections. You want to be able to see, see shadows. You want to be able to see everything to know that there's a, a person behind you following you. So, uh, and also, you don't want the person to know that you're being followed because there are great opportunities where you could take one turn. Okay, they're, they're, they took that same exact turn that I took just around that corner of the block. And this, this is also true for if you're driving. You could take turns while you're driving. If that car, same exact car is still following you, then you know something's up so what I what I meant was once you take those few few turns you could actually sprint before they catch up to that next turn or you could jump a wall and then boom they'll never know which direction you went so say for example say for example I'm coming from one of these directions you could easily just hide in, in one of those directions okay so uh, jumping walls if you have to go into crowded places and never lead them back to your home and this is perfect because you don't want them to steal any of your valuables you don't want them to jump you or do anything bad to you all right guys so that's pretty much it for today and God bless all right so here's the first scenario I'm gonna make this a quick little clip I'm gonna imagine that someone's following me from that direction over there if you can see that and I'm coming here and I'm right about to go and turn into that direction up here. Okay, so this is gonna be the first turn that I take. All right, guys, here I am at the turn. I'm right about to turn this way. And if there's, this is the first turn, so I shouldn't have a huge suspicion. So this is not a big deal. They're still following me. All right, guys, so this is about to be the second turn right here. Now, it's not a big deal if they're still following you because it's only the second turn. Once it's the third or fourth turn, that's when you need to start to get worried. All right, guys, this is about to be the third turn. And I'm actually crossing the street. So that way, if they catch me at that last corner back there, I'm going to be able to see them and I'm going to be able to cross the street. So not only would they have to cross the street to be able to follow me, but it's going to make it a lot more suspicious that they're actually following me. So after this third step if they're still following you after this third turn and they cross the street to, in order to follow you you definitely know that there's possibly something that's up you don't want to lead them into the direction that you live in you want to go somewhere and you want to be able to get ready for that sprint all right guys this is the fourth turn so this spot right here you want to get out of this spot because it's a pretty deserted area it's the fourth fourth turn so if they're following you here, you know you gotta get out quick. You need to find a way uh, of an escape to get out of here. All right, guys. So I mean, you see the see the surroundings. If they're still following you there, you need to get out. All right. So we just seen them back there. They're still following us. Now we're gonna make the escape route. There's many escapes once you find the right uh, direction that you need to go in. Okay. So this is the fourth turn they're still following you you could you could do a lot of different things okay so I'm giving an example you could go to this area right here and and there's a bunch of different houses you could easily go there there's businesses up here and if you go farther deeper in and I'll walk a little bit just to show you but I'm not going all the way because it's a business and they're still working but behind these trucks here 
there's there's a wall you could jump this wall and it's gonna lead to other houses you could even hide under here if you have to there's actually people back there and I'm not going back there right now but you pretty much got the point you got three different escape routes you got the businesses up here where you can walk into the business and there's a bunch of small offices you got the houses right here and then you got the wall back there which is which once you jump that wall you're into a totally different neighborhood and the great thing is is once they turn that corner right there they're not going to have enough time to see what direction that you went in they, they're they're going to have to guess between three different options so once you get past that third uh, step, that last uh, corner, you have you. The best thing you could do is have multiple different escape routes. You want your you want the person to be thinking which direction that you went in. All right, guys. God bless and have a great day. And this is the video how to tell if someone's following you.